Hi, everybody. Welcome to This Week with Jesus. My name is Dennis Miller, and I'm the lead pastor at Aldersgate Church here in Nixa. So glad that you're tuning in. Man, Christmas has started. We're here at Advent, and we're excited and ready for what's getting ready to take place in the next few weeks, including coming up this Sunday when we have our Christmas cantata. That will actually be on Saturday at 5 o'clock. I'm sorry, 6 o'clock. I always keep saying that wrong. But at 6 o'clock this Saturday will be our Christmas cantata in our worship center. We'll also then have two uh, more times for you to be able to see that at 8.15 and 9.45. I can assure you this one is awesome. And the 35-voice choir that will be a part of it um, will be wonderful. Uh, there will be signing happening and narration, of course. It's great. Wonderful solos and the duet. And you'll get a chance to hear them at, at 6 o'clock on Saturday or 8.15, 9.45 on Saturday morning morning. At 11.11 then, we have the children's Christmas program that'll be in our 11.11 service. So folks will want to come to both, you know, come to the Saturday cantata, then the 11.11 service, or come to any of the other services and stay around for the 11.11. We always have plenty of coffee and other things to hang out and visit with in our little Bethlehem village that's still in our commons uh, from the miracle of Jesus, which is great. You get a chance to do that. So the kids program, they'll also have a practice that the kids will all know about on Saturday and then kind of a Jesus birthday party uh, following that. Um, our Aldersgate Ringers will also be in the Commons this um, uh, Sunday, playing in between uh, our services. And so you'll want to come and hear some of the Christmas music they'll be playing uh, as the Handbell Choir, a small ensemble of them, share their gifts this Sunday during, in between services, between the cantata and the kids' uh, musical. Um, making sure that I'm not missing anything I want to tell you. Christmas services on December 20th. We, we, will, we will have a Traveler's Candlelight Christmas Eve service. It's at 6.30 p.m. on the 20th for those who will be heading out after school's out and, and heading to family elsewhere for Christmas Eve or Christmas. You can still celebrate Candlelight Christmas Communion with us on the 20th at 6.30 in the Worship Center. And then Christmas Eve, we have a service at 10 o'clock. That's our fourth Sunday in Advent uh, worship service. And so you can come to that. Then at 3, 5, 7, and 11, we'll have our uh, candlelight Christmas Eve communion services. And that's where you'll be experiencing communion and only at those services, those four services that day. So you can always go to aldersgatechurch.com and get all that information again and find out about those things. It's important. I go back to the 17th and remind you and let you know we'll, we will have a, a board of directors meeting. It'll be a very, very short meeting approving the uh, budget for next year. And then we have the youth Christmas party that evening at 6 o'clock in the youth building. So the youth Christmas party, 7th through 12th grade at 6 p.m. in the youth building for a Christmas party. Don't want to miss that. And also that night, our Nova Christmas party, we, we hosted the Nova group young adults on Sunday night. It was awesome. They were doing a progressive dinner. Had a great time visiting with those folks at that. And so they'll have their Christmas party that Sunday, December 17th, up in the Art Deck at 7 o'clock. That's for our kids out of high kids, sorry. It's for our young adults out of high school and in their 20s. And, and it's a great group of people that um, Carol Green helps head up and uh, Catherine Klim even helps support some. So you don't want to miss that. It's for all those folks that age. Hey, I got December birthday sitting here in front of me. I think that's, I got through most of the announcements. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, Teresa Ross had a birthday December 2nd. So funny that she is having, they just had her birthday on Saturday last week. Tom uh, O'Hara had his birthday on Saturday also, as did Mike Anderson. And um, Ashton Carr had a birthday then too. It's one of our kids from our, I think, uh, preschool. Uh, David Jacobson's birthday is on um was yes Monday I'm sorry and just remember to pray for David he lost his, his dad passed away a week ago Sunday and they celebrated his life just uh, uh, the other day I think that's right um, but just keep David in your prayers as their family say goodbye to his dad uh, Paige Wells birthday was also on Monday as was Billy Newbauer one of the newer folks in our congregation in fact I think Billy and Dolph will be lighting the Advent candle uh, this uh, Sunday so you'll see them in a worship service doing that Stacy Kohler birthday is, uh, was, sorry, today, is today. That's right. Today is December 6th, right? Yeah, it's your birthday, <laughs> Stacy. Jim Kennel's birthday is today, too. And then yet tomorrow's is Lois Parker. She may live in Oklahoma, but she's still in our hearts here. So um, happy birthday to Lois tomorrow. Lenita Brumley's birthday is tomorrow, uh, as is Sean Saylor's birthday is tomorrow. Um, Arnie Schmalzbauer is on Saturday, as is Georgia Coors and Elena Metzger and Lon McLaughlin. 
Barb McCauley's is Sunday, as is Jerry Pepper. She's in Arizona, but Jerry's also in our heart all the time. Aubrey Postgate is also on Sunday, as is Davis Neal. So happy birthday to all you folks. And just remember to be lifting up uh, some good news that we got, prayer concerns. Phil is on the um, liver kidney transplant list at Barnes Jewish Hospital. Can you pray for him? He's been dealing with some issues health-wise, though, and is having a non-visitor visit at the hospital and not needing visitors to come at all. Um, Carla Wilcox, still in the hospital, recovering from her surgery that she had. Karen McClanahan just had surgery today. Uh, I believe that was outpatient and... Um, uh, continue to pray for them as they heal. Uh, I know Wanda Helvey has a surgery scheduled uh, for next Tuesday, and so we want to remember those folks. Um, Deb Rose is still recovering and in rehabilitation. And Layla Clausen, uh, or Leela Clausen, is um, Amber Mueller's mom. She's nearing the end of life and is on hospice care now, too, and we want to remember um, Amber and her family and the grandkids um, as they're saying goodbye, Nick and Brendan, to their um, grandma. So, um, Let's pray together, okay? Heavenly Father, it is a joy to have a chance to pray with the family of God. We have so many things that are happening. May we remember that we stay um, focused on Jesus. As I shared in chapel today with the kids about the Advent wreath and, and everything that was a part of that, I, I told them they were the light of the world. And, and that's what we're called, what Jesus told us on the Sermon on the Mount, that we are the light of the world. So when we are being who we are in Christ, we get the opportunity to be Christ to the world. And as we pray, God, we do lift up to you those that are in the hospital and uh, recovering from surgeries, having treatments, and that are um, going to be heading, heading um, uh, to the, the journey they're on. Layla, especially, God, we send her with your peace. There's also another person I prayed with yesterday that's not really connected to our church family, but needed a pastor there to pray, and I just lift up Bill to you, too, as he's nearing the end of his life. So, God, may we stay focused on who you made us to be and continue to um, just experience that Jesus came down at Christmas. We look forward to the cantata this weekend. Pray a blessing that community folks would come and experience that, and that may I, might even come to see our children's uh, program, too. To, uh, in all of that, they would see Jesus. So we pray all this in Jesus' name and give thanks in his name. Amen. Bye.